This video is going to demonstrate the lack of accessibility of mainstream apps for students that are visually impaired. We're going to take a look at a very popular math app for young students called the Hungry Fish. I'm going to open up this app and I want you to pay attention to the fact that the things on the screen are moving around, um, making it very challenging for somebody that's visually impaired to find the items on the screen. So let's take a look at what the app looks like. I'm going to go ahead and start it here by pressing the play button. And on the screen there's a fish with the number three. Feed the three to your fish. There are bubbles that are popping up and those bubbles are moving around, the fish is moving around, and you're supposed to find the three and drag it into the fish. I'm going to demonstrate three that. To your fish. And this is how somebody with vision would do it. They would find the moving three bubble, drag it into the fish's mouth, the fish eats it. Now there are two bubbles. One is, has a one and the other one has a two. You have to drag them together to make three. And then you have to drag it to the fish. Now, let's see what happens when I turn voiceover on. I have voiceover um, set for my triple click home. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. Voiceover on, landscape. Home button to the right, the hungry fish. To feed your fish. All right, so now voiceover is on. When I drag my finger around the screen, all I hear is thunk, thunk, thunk. The buttons aren't labeled, the fish is not labeled, the moving numbers that I have to drag together are not labeled. Even if I could find them, the double tap and hold, which is how I would drag, that is not active. To feed your fish. So this is very common um, issues with apps for young students that they're very visual and voiceover does not work at all with Combine these apps. all the ones to feed your fish.